The African savanna is an ecosystem defined by the interactions of its inhabitants. Among the most conspicuous of the medium to large herbivores is the antelope known as the toki. Scientifically classified as Damaliscus lunatus, they are quintessential inhabitants of open savannas, grasslands, and seasonal floodplains where they play a critical role as bulk grazers. The topi is a medium-sized antelope, with adults typically standing between 100 to 130 centimeters at the shoulder. Body weight varies by region and sex, but generally ranges from 100 to 130 kilograms. Their coat is a striking, short-haired reddish-brown. The most distinctive visual markers are the dark, bluish-black patches of integument on the upper forelimbs and haunches. The face is elongated, and both males and females possess thick, heavily ringed, lyre-shaped horns. The social structure of the topi is highly flexible and adapted to environmental conditions. It can be observed in several distinct arrangements. The most basic unit is the resident herd, composed of related females and their offspring, which occupies a stable home range. Non-territorial males often form bachelor herds. These groups provide safety in numbers without the high energetic cost of defending a territory. In ecosystems like the Serengeti Mara, topi form large migratory herds that can number in the thousands. These aggregations follow the seasonal rains and the growth of new grass a strategy that allows them to exploit resources over a vast area. Within these large herds, the smaller family units are often still maintained. The primary social bond is between a female and her calf. After a gestation period of approximately eight months, a single calf is born. The calf is precocial, meaning it is able to stand and run within hours of birth, a critical adaptation for survival against predation. The mother and calf remain in close proximity for up to a year. Topi are known for their use of a specific reproductive strategy known as lecking. A lek is a traditional breeding ground where dominant males congregate to establish and defend very small, temporary territories. These territories contain no resources other than the male himself. Males attract females through postural displays and by maintaining a central position within the lek, which signals high fitness. Competition for these central territories is intense and energetically demanding. Females will visit the lek and select a mate based on these displays of dominance. This system ensures that only the most fit males are likely to reproduce, driving sexual selection within the population. As diurnal grazers, Topi spend their days feeding primarily on medium-height grasses. A key anti-predator behavior is the use of elevated positions, such as termite mounds, as lookout posts. This sentinel behavior provides an early warning system against predators. When a threat is detected, a topi can sustain high speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. Its endurance and bounding gait, known as studding, 
is believed to function as an honest signal to predators, indicating the animal's high level of fitness and the low probability of a successful hunt. In the wild, the average lifespan of a topi is 12 to 15 years, though this is heavily influenced by predation pressure, disease, and environmental conditions. The International Union for Conservation of Nature currently lists the topi as a species of least concern. This is due to its large, widespread population and the fact that it occurs in numerous well-protected areas.